hope you're all well. It's going to be a little day walk today, it's a Saturday. I'm at Felixstowe Ferry, which is, of course, at Felixstowe in Suffolk, on the coast. And it's also where the River Devon meets the sea. So the walk is from, look again, 6.5 miles long. We're going to be seeing some Martello Towers as well, a uh, stretch of the river some of the marshes like the King's Fleet and we'll be coming back here to the Ferry Boat Inn Cafe so you can get the Felixstowe Ferry over here over to Baldy which is as I say the other side of the River Devon and yeah that follows a section of the Suffolk Coast Path as well which of course I've done before and yeah I'll probably be showing you a section of that as well the weather as you can see is pretty awful um, it's actually quite windy too much of this. Yeah, we're forecast rain until 2am 2, 2 and it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. So, yeah, I must be mad. And once again, I'm on my own. It's quite nice that way. Anyway, enough talking, let's get walking. Felixstowe, whose name means happy place, is a large Edwardian seaside resort that continues to provide thousands of families with buckets of summer fun. The English beach holiday may be in terminal decline thanks to cheap flights to the Mediterranean, but Felixstowe still embodies the carefree, kiss-me-quick atmosphere of an earlier age. Children ride bumper boats, go fishing for crabs and buy sticks of rock from kiosks on the pier. Pensioners stroll along the promenade and drink tea at seafront cafes. At the same time, Felixstowe has grown to become Britain's largest container port. This walk shows you another side to Felixstowe, well away from the arcades and the sandcastles on the beach. It starts in the small hamlet of Felixstowe Ferry, with its boatyard, fishing huts and ferry across the river. The cafe here serves some of the freshest fish and chips you will find, but if that is still not fresh enough, you can buy fish straight off the fishing boat at the huts down by the quay. The walk leads along the estuary of the River Debham and beside the King's Fleet, a peaceful stream that takes its name from the fleet of ships assembled here by Edward III ready to sail to France. The King's Fleet is no longer navigable but back in the 13th century it was regularly used by trading ships.
in Felixstowe Ferry now, not far from the cafe and the pub. Come across the World War II pillbox. There's a uh, portaloo either side of it. There's lots of building work and construction. You can see the orange fence in there, yeah? Okay, let's see what this one's like. It's quite built up around here. So. It's a bit better. Um, <sighs> like someone's been tidying up in here, all the rubbish. But, uh, they've blocked off a couple of the uh, gun loops and sort of sighting windows. And there's the portaloo through there as well. But uh, yeah, just want to show you another one. They're all the same really, I know, but ceiling's quite low again. They were shorter back in them days. I probably would have been a giant to them. Anyway, and there's some dodgy arse inspection gloves there on the floor as well. Someone's been drinking coffee and invading someone's arsehole with their hands and fingers. Oh, and some energy drinks as well. Well, keep that caffeine up when you're fingering someone's arsehole, you know. And to think I could have had a video where I didn't say anything obscene. It never happens. Ah! Oh my god! How'd they fit through there? Okay, don't know if you could hear me, but we've made it out to the sea. And, uh, got a couple of nice towers on here. Could be the highlight of the wall, this, right. We're following this sea wall path. Oh, hang on. There. We're following that to the left, where those people are. Back to Felix Stone Ferry. Returning to the sea, you pass two Martello Towers, rare survivors of a chain of defensive outposts built between 1805 and 1812 to protect the English coastline against a threatened invasion by Napoleon of France. These round towers were 30 foot or 9 metres tall and had walls up to 13 feet or 4 metres thick in order to withstand incoming cannonballs. Ironically, they were based on a tower at Mortella Point in Corsica, Napoleon's birthplace, which the British Navy had tried unsuccessfully to bombard. The towers were three storeys high and contained living quarters for one officer and 24 men, together with gunpowder stores, provisions and a gun tower on the roof. By, by 1815, Napoleon had been defeated at Waterloo and the Martello Towers were redundant. The promised invasion never took place, and none of the towers ever fired a shot in anger. Many of them have disappeared into the sea, but a few remain, such as a line of follies decorating the East Anglian coast. One of the towers at Felixstowe was used for some time by the Coast Guard, and another at Felixstowe Ferry is now a private house. They stand above the beach as lonely reminders of the time when England faced the real threat of foreign invasion. As you walk back along the sea wall, look across the river to see Baldsey Manor, a Victorian pile built by Sir Cuthbert Quilter in 1886. 
the manor was taken over by the government in the 1930s and it was here that Sir Robert Watson Watt 1892-1973 perfected the science of radar following his early experiments on Orford Ness. A radar mask can still be seen above the trees. Right, well welcome back. Um, I'm at the ferry boat in back at Felixstowe Ferry. The cafe over there is closed so and they've also stopped serving food here but got myself an old moot cider, passion fruit and apple, one of my favourite ciders and uh, I'm just out in a little smoking area a bit out of the rain, it's lovely here. Just, yeah that weather out there is absolutely grim. So yeah that's the end of this video anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have, apart from the weather, it's been pretty awful. Um, thank you for the continued support as always. Uh, subscribers are doing well, so yeah, and just nice comments from everyone. So yeah, cheers for watching. Let us know what you think, if you've been here before, etc, etc, what I always say. Hope you enjoyed the history, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, see you later.